apparatus for the observation of the refraction of light. In the 5th century Hegira, 11th century AD, in the fourth tract of his great book of optics, Kitab al-Manazir, Ibn al-Haytam describes an instrument for experimenting with various cases of refraction in order to investigate the relations between the angle of incidence, the angle of refraction, and the angle of deflection. A circular and fairly thick copper disc is taken. It must have a rim that stands vertically on its surface and is at least three fingers wide. In the middle of the back of the disc, there must be a little round pillar which stands vertically on the surface of the disc. The measurements are conducted in such a way that the instrument is inserted into water up to the center, tilting the connecting line of the two openings in various ways towards the horizon and defining the center of the image under the water just when the rays of the sun come through the two openings. 